Come along for a beautiful hike through wildflower-covered meadows, up to the summit of Elk Mountain, and a stop at the seldom-visited Wapiti Cave as I explore the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge. Hello and welcome to the Oklahoma Hiker YouTube channel. Today I have got a special like desert vibed hike uh, ready to go. I am in the Wichita Mountains of southwestern Oklahoma. This is a place I don't get to check out too often, so I'm really excited. Today we're going up to the top of Elk Mountain and we're going to explore around there. So I haven't seen it before, but I'm excited to do so. Come along. <laughs> Looks like the first thing we get to cross is a cool little bridge here with a nice view of Elk Mountain. But with that great view, I'm coming for you. Well, I got off trail, which means I'm gonna be going up. I will say that the trail hasn't been marked. No checking for rattlesnakes. The trail hasn't been marked at all here. So, uh, definitely want to have your app out because most of the trail is just this big piece of stone and it's kind of easy to go wrong. So, I am going to put this down, make sure I find the trail again, and I will pick this up again later. As mountains go, we are just going up and up and up and up on this trail. So, nothing out of the ordinary. I will say that the uh, trail is definitely a honeycomb of trails rather than one defined marked trail. So, as I mentioned earlier, be ready with a map. Well, I have been in the shade for a little bit. And let me tell you, I don't mind one bit because some silly hiker forgot to bring his sunscreen. Now, I do have a sun shirt with a hood, so that's probably gonna come on up top. But, looks like I'm gonna have to pop back into civilization if I'm gonna make this a three day thing.
granted, I think it's time to check out the top. So cool. Oh yeah. Looks like it ends here. It does. Sweet. Well, Wapiti Cave is nice and cool, so I decided to take my shirt off and relax a little bit. It is also time uh, to hydrate here. So I've got some of these noon tablets. They are my go-to. Uh, it's definitely time for a drink. So I'm going to get one. These are good. Strawberry flavored cranberries. I think my time in this neat little cave has come to an end. But that was awesome. Glad I found it. Pretty easy to find too. Ah, I will show you the book that gave me the directions to that at the very end here. Goodbye, Wapiti Cave. All right. Time to check out the rest of the mountain without losing my hat. was a bit of a path that would lead you there. We will see. All right, new destination. This view right here, that is incredible. Look at that. And it just goes on and on. What a rock garden.
stop at this little vista on the way because it just looked really pretty on the way in. And it is not disappointing. Look at that. The descent continues. So got some good views, lots of nice boulders. And I am probably two thirds of the way back to the trailhead from the top. So I certainly like the uh, descent better than I like the ascent. I'm almost back to the bridge, which means this thing is almost over. It was a beautiful one but I am looking forward to catching my breath after this descent so that I can leave you the final trail update without wheezing the whole time. I am back to the truck and I brought myself a very special surprise this time. Not a surprise for me, but it's kind of a surprise for you. I never do this. What is that? All right, the surprise is I'm car camping and I have a cooler, which means that somewhere in here, I have a soda. I'm digging, I feel it. Yes. I'm gonna tear that up. Ow, ow. Well, it's time for the trail thoughts and several hours have passed, uh, hence the sandwich and the chips here. Uh, but I did want to uh, give that to you while it was fresh in my head. The trail was beautiful. I mean, it's challenging. If you are not a fan of rock scrambling, if you are terrified of the possibility of seeing rattlesnakes, uh, if you're not very sure-footed, this is probably not the best trail for you. But it wasn't long. Uh, with Even with all my exploring up top, it was still just 3.5 miles. Uh, and under a thousand feet of elevation gain. So it's not a huge challenge if that's your thing. Uh, definitely once you're up top, there is a ton uh, to explore. Uh, I was like like a kid in a candy shop. I wanted to see it all. So good thing is I have uh, left some adventures for another day. Uh, but, uh, of course, I chose Wapiti Cave today, which was totally cool. Uh, I found that in a little Wichita uh, trail guide book that I actually got here at the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge. That's a mouthful. Uh, visitor Center. Uh, and I will show you a picture of that uh, here at the very end of the video so you can find it as well. Uh, but Wapiti Cave was very cool and it was actually cool inside. So it was nice to get away from the heat since somebody didn't bring sunscreen. But I'm not too like crispy, am I? Uh, anyway, uh, it was a great trail. I definitely uh, encourage you to get out and get on it if that's your thing. Uh, the views are just really incredible and there is so much to see up there. So bring your sunscreen. Make sure that you're very well hydrated because it was hot. It was, by the way, over 100 degrees today uh, with about... I'd say 30, 35 mile per hour wind. Uh, it was actually hard to stand uh, on the very summit. So uh, be ready for that as well. Anyway, I am going to uh, launch into this sandwich, but I hope that you have enjoyed the video and uh, that you will find yourself out on the trail soon. Bye-bye. It's time.
looking for more great Wichita Mountain adventures? Check out my exploration of the Sharon's Garden Wilderness area. Interested in seeing the other mountains Oklahoma has to offer? Check out my hike of Section 1 of the Washita Trail. And if deserts are more your thing, check out my hike to the Lighthouse Formation at Palo Duro Canyon State Park.